Tim Reed said that a, the guy, a guy at CBS would like to do a thing about uh, uh, New Orleans and uh, uh, cooking. It, 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 it got. It wasn't Creole that it just caught on, but it was whatever they call black and red fish and all of that. Cajun. Cajun cooking was all the rage, and they thought maybe it'd be cool to be uh, uh, have a, a restaurant in New Orleans, and Tim would be running it. And um, and I was uh, not enjoying uh, making directing movies. And uh, uh, so I and Tim is uh, one of my best friends. He's he's Maggie Brown's god godmother, a uh, godfather, and Tim's wife godmother. And um, uh, uh, so I wanted to work with him, and I didn't want to do movies. And I thought, oh man, a southern sitcom. Well, that's right down my alley. So. Uh, we went to New Orleans, researched around. We found uh, this restaurant. It was f pretty famous, kind of down in the hills, but famous. It was like where uh, Madonna would sneak off to after her. Uh, it was very authentic. It wasn't, it, but it was Creole, and uh, it was uh, owned by a guy that we got to be friends with. And uh, we based the whole thing. I took pictures of the restaurants. All the sets are built on his restaurant. It was called Chez Louisiane, I think. And uh, this guy always wore a, a, a fisherman's cap and white. And I made sure uh, our cook did the same. And um, uh, I stayed down there. I had so much fun. I, I decided I knew in in a lot of black communities the most important people uh, are the undertakers, uh, people on the funeral home. So I based a character on a, a woman who uh, was a power person in New Orleans in her wheelchair on the funeral home was always being pushed around by Daphne, the beautiful her beautiful daughter who is in real life Tim's wife. And um, I just started putting the pieces together, and um, I, uh, I then, I then said uh, to CBS, I didn't want to shoot it in front of a live audience. I've been shooting one camera movies. I thought I knew how to do them. I want to shoot it as a movie. Certainly, Mash was one camera. They said, okay, but you got to use a laugh track. I said, oh, absolutely, uh, you know, and uh, and uh, I was lying uh, to them. I thought, what I knew, if I, uh, you know, the, uh, the fourth wall, you know about that. If I get into, uh, if I get into that bar and I shoot a scene where you see this way and then you see this way and then you see this way and then you see this way. When I'm through, I put a laugh track on that, and you're going to say, what? Where's the audience? Because I've shown all four walls. So when I was through, I, I called them and said, oh, I'm in such a fit here. I'm at, this, I'm at the such and such sound studio, and I can't. It's not taking the laugh track. What do you mean it's not taking? I said, well, you better get over here and have a look. No, we can't. I can't get a laugh track on this. And that was the first uh, uh, Frank's place. And Jay Tarsus and I had talked years before, and I really hadn't seen Jay in a couple of years. But we had talked about uh, breaking out of, uh, breaking out of, we wanted to get away from sound, laugh tracks. And I thought the best way of doing that was going one camera. So unbeknownst to me, he made a show called The Days and Nights of Molly Dodd while I was doing Frank's Place. And those shows came on at the exact same time. One camera comedies without a laugh track, which you'll see now is what everybody does. But when we did it, it suddenly got a lot of press and, and it got to be, uh, they, it was given the name Dramedy. You know that? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was considered uh, quite, a, uh, uh, quite a change in the creative winds. Uh, both of us got canceled after a year. But I think uh, uh, from an artistic standpoint, a lot of people thought that's the way to go. Frank's Place looks a lot like a feature. 
and it, it's almost like instead of an episode, it almost has the feel uh, that it was written as a short story. There's that real kind of feeling to it. And I, I, I messed around with the dates. I used a lot of retro clothing. It's very hard to figure out what year we're watching here.